Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami. Oh, it turns out there was actually a card right here next to that save point. I got Taunt. And I know I'm not looking to continue the main story yet, but it looks like there is a side quest right next to the entrance of West Park. What was that noise? Seems to be coming from over there. Man, I'm so hungry. That sound must have been his stomach. He seems pretty hungry. Wonder if he's alright. <clears throat> Can't help thinking about this kid. I feel pretty guilty if he went hungry. Might as well say hello. Can't feed him with words, Kiryu. Unless you made him eat a book. Hey, kid. Uh -huh. huh? What? Are you hungry? Oh, you can hear my stomach rumbling? That's embarrassing. Uh. But, yeah, I'm a little hungry. I see. I should probably give him something to eat. I thought I could give him something to eat, but I don't have anything on me. Sorry, I don't have anything I can give you. That's okay, mister. Thanks for trying anyway. See ya. Authentic Korean barbecue restaurant. Sadly, it's not to go. Can't really feed him any adult magazines. I guess I can go to West Park for now and see what's going on. Whoa. To schedule a meeting with a porcelain prince, so that's the toilet, of course. Hmm? A phone call from Yuya. Hmm. My baby's a showgirl. Yuya's girlfriend is a stage performance somewhere on Pink Street. Maybe I'll stop by. Maybe I can actually just go to Purgatory right now. Let's all get an idea of what's going on first. Oh, there's something over here. What's this? This could be for another side quest. I might as well go check that out while I'm here. Hmm? Oh, I remember you! He was from Yakuza 0. What was his name? Um, Kamaki? And he taught Majima different fighting styles. What's going on, old man? Oh, it's you! I saw your achievement in the arena. I did not think you would defeat Buster. Oh ho. How exciting. Uh. Oh. You watched the match? <laughs> oh ho. They said you are a master of brawling. But although your blows were quite beastly, your movements seemed rushed. Your style is still unrefined in my eyes. You lack the heart of a true martial artist. It really is a shame. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say, old man? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? I know this may seem abrupt, but do you want to be my student? Depending on your potential, you could develop your talents hundred times over. Mm, sure. A mm. hundred, huh? You sure talk big. Okay, sure. Oh, so you'll become my student. And starting today, you have the honor of calling yourself a student of Kamaki. Kamaki style shot stopper? Mm. Kamaki? Soja. Just so. My name is Sotaro Kamaki. You're fearless to commit to an apprenticeship with a man whose name you don't know. I'll give you that. <laughs> you said earlier that I don't understand the heart of a martial artist. You can actually teach that, Kamaki-san? Patience, young man. There are steps to take. I will teach you the Kamaki style in due time. And that time is now. This martial arts school has thrived since the Edo period. 
The style's distinctive feature is its barehanded combat. Therefore, it is still quite useful in this day and age. I see. But it's been nearly 20 years since I've had a student, let alone a proper disciple. What shall I teach you first? Very well. I've decided. To start, I will teach you the art of self-defense. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, it's where you defend yourself. Wait, uh, I mean, with that fierce face, I doubt you live a peaceful existence. Mm -hmm. You often clash with the thugs and hooligans of Camarocho with your life on the line, do you not? Well, yeah. As I said, you are my first disciple in nigh 20 years. I cannot allow a rarity like that to be needlessly killed. In order to receive my training, you must survive. Well, if it makes me stronger, there's no reason to refuse. I accept your challenge. Good. Now let's begin. Now, Kiryu, I will teach you my finest defensive skill. This technique is called the Kamaki Shot Stopper. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you talking about guns? Soja. Indeed. Ours is a barehanded style, but that doesn't mean not mean our opponents will play by the same rules. My predecessors had to find a way to fight against matchlock firearms. Good. Hey, the Edo period ended, old man. Matchlock guns are long gone. Worry not. I made improvements to the technique so that it works as effectively against the weapons of modern warfare. It is the master's duty to evolve with the changing times. I see. So you're prepared. Just so. But words are like wind. Now is time for action. <laughs> Very well, Kiryu. Show me the Kamaki shot stopper. These two men are each carrying a model gun. You will not die if you are shot, but it will most certainly hurt. You must learn to focus. Okay, this is a heat action used by getting close to an enemy wielding a gun or shotgun. It's an effective skill against a strong opponent who is armed. The Kamaki shot stopper is a heat action that can be used to disable a nearby enemy wielding either a handgun or shotgun. Press triangle close to a foe with a firearm to use it. Okay. You missed. I win. That was easy. Prodigious! With this skill, your chances of survival rise dramatically. <coughs> Do not forget to accumulate heat as you fight. Uh. Yeah, got it. Next time you come, bring a wooden sword. In order to learn the basics of sword play, a wooden katana will be necessary. I should see this guy more often because I'll get more techniques. The conditions required to receive training from Kamaki can be reviewed on the Dragon Style page under abilities in the pause menu. Interesting. I should take advantage of that. So, let me think about this. Where the hell can I get a wooden sword? Can I get it from you? I don't think this counts as a wooden sword. So I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Fair enough. I guess outside of, you know, getting, uh, getting a wooden sword, maybe I should go to a store and get some food to go. So I can help out that kid. Wait. Did I hear a beeping? Oh! Behind the tax or front of the taxi. The Atlas Moth. Neato. There's also this quest over here, so I might just end up getting that one started. 
So there's two things I need to buy. A wooden katana and some food. Should be no problem. And I should go over to Yuya's club, too. Hey! Get out of my way! Don't be an icy bitch, woman. I lost everything I had on that pachinko. I know you've got some cash on you, right? Not any that I'm gonna give you. Fine. And how about you and me head to a hotel? You can help me forget all my woes. <sighs> I better step in before this gets worse. Good. Stop it! She's not interested. Uh -huh. huh? What the hell's your problem? You. You're my problem. Alright, time to go beasty on ya, huh? Long dart! Are you okay? ちょっと。何するんですか。知らないわよ、こんな人。この野郎。俺が知らないうちに男を作り上がったな。違うんだって。純ちゃん。あ、すまん。余計なことしちまったか。俺はてっきり。この女性と俺は何も。覚悟はできてるかちょっと、純ちゃんやめてやめてよよせ、落ち着けやめてーおい、そんなもん出してどないするきゃうおーはんせいどうだはんせい、参ったか it's called an armbar. そうじゃねえ。っていうかやめろ。行って。行ってよ。そちらの女性も怖がっている。女性を連れて逃げなさい。私なら大丈夫。こういう親からはきっちりと正気しないと。違うんだ。人の話を聞け。Why did this sub story have to get voice acting? ほら、何やってるんだ。あ、お前さん、ご苦労様です。実はチンペラがカップルを脅しておりまして。Now put her in the armbar. <笑>大丈夫ね大丈夫なのどどういうことまあカップルの痴話喧嘩ってやつだなああの二人がカップル ってことは脅してたチンピラってのはお前かはいや勘違いだ俺も初っ端に勘違いしたが署までどうこうしてもらうぞ違うんだ一緒に警察に行きましょうは私も勘違いをしたそしてあなたも勘違いをしたここは男
止めに入ったら男が俺に喧嘩を吹っかけてきたんだそうなのかはいすみませんお騒がせしてそして途中この顔のでかい男が急に入ってきてチンピラをやっつけちまったそうですなるほどもういいかすみませんでしたいやもういいですいやそれでは許されないそうだ私に同じ技をかけてくださいいや好きな技を好きなだけかけてもらってさあ遠慮なくさあ<笑>すまなかったなあんたには迷惑かかっちまったいえそれにしてもすごい技だったな柔道をやってたのかでは篠原さん最近は物騒ですからお気をつけて篠原なんで名前をあんた有名なのか現役はもう引退してましてそれでまあちょっとした観光にでもこういう場所を歩くのは慣れていないんで迷ってるうちにさっきの現場に出くわしまして本当にご迷惑をおかけしまして申し訳ありませんそうだったのか迷惑かけたついてだ俺でよければ案内するぜ本当ですかよろしくお願いしますオッケー That was weird <clears throat> Let's see You have anywhere specific you want to go? I uh, kind of came back to town recently, so I'm probably not the perfect tour guide.、Mm. I guess all that exercise worked up an appetite, so why don't we grab something to eat? <laughs> If you're looking for good food here, barbecue is the way to go. I know a place. Hi! Okay. Uh, I guess we can go to a、uh, Kanrai. I trust you'll somehow spawn right next to me. That's usually how it goes. There's a good spot. Here we are. This is the place for meat in Camarocho. Wow, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay picking up the tab here? Then. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I got money, so you just enjoy yourself. Uh, sure. Well, let's do this. Wait, it says there's a card over here. Look at that. I just saw the wings right by that, uh, pillar. Welcome. Can I take your order? Yes! I'll take everything. You mean, like, one of every item on the menu? Of course not. I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full grown cow.、Eh? What? I, I mean, of course, sir. Um, would you like it with sauce or salt, or salt and pepper? Both. Both? Wait, you mean you want two cows?、Hey. Yes. Right away, then, sir. That poor toilet. And that poor man's kidneys. <laughs> wow! That was really delicious! What a great choice! <laughs> you certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there could eat two whole cows of meat. Anyway, what do you want to do next?、Mm. I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Drinks? Okay. I know a good bar near here. I could take you there if you want. Mata, mata. Ah, come on! A bar? You should know better than that, Kiryu san. Then. Huh? If we're going to drink in Camarocho, it's gotta be at a cabaret club.、Uh. Oh, right. I understand now. I've always wanted to go to a cabaret club, so this is my golden opportunity. Please, take me there.、Mm. Well, you certainly have no shame. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give that a shot. Hey! 
Okay. Oh, oh, enter. How do I pick it up? How is this possible? I don't want to enter. No, don't make me enter. Oh my god. Yeah, I just sent in a very specific spot. Devil's Flower Mantis. Okay, luckily Jewel's right here. I haven't even gone to that cabaret club much. I've been too busy, like, uh, trying to shoot the shit with Rena. I guess I can try the, uh, hostess in, the uh, Jewel, too. Well, we're here. Let's have a good fight! Whoa! Why are you yelling? Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I used to always yell that when I entered a room. Well, you're gonna have to relax. I don't want you getting drunk in judo throwing anyone. <laughs> wow, you're so well built. Do you play sports? Yeah. Well, sort of. A long time ago I did. <laughs> oh, I love a man with some muscle tone. <laughs> Well, I'll drink to that. Shall we have champagne? Oh, what a dynamic man. This guy's cheekbones are more well-developed than my life. <laughs> One gold for this fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. Oh, you didn't want the gold? No, that's not it at all. But, just one bottle? Let's not be stingy here. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each. So I think we need four golds. <laughs> wow! You know how to party, Shinohara-san. <laughs> you are the man. Four bottles of gold. And they'd be like, uh, alright, what are you ladies and Kiryu gonna get, huh? I got the four bottles for me. Didn't think you were the type to order four bottles of champagne. You sure know how to liven up a cabaret. <laughs> nah, that was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I'm gonna do it. I see. I guess you're just an all-around party animal. So, what do you want to do next? Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? You didn't like the club? Yeah. No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but... I haven't found anything that's really excited me yet. Then, You're looking for excitement? Yeah. Well, there's no point coming all the way to Kamurocho to have the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind of experience. Mm. I see. So the normal tourist attractions won't cut it. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be ungracious when you've gone out so far out of your way to show me around. My whole life, judo is all I've known. I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in a nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared toward my interests. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I might have an idea. What? Really? Uh. Yeah. I think I know a place that will be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. Really think so? Please, take me there. There's only one place I know in Kamurocho that can satisfy a judo master like Shinohara. That's where I'll take them. The only place I can fit that bill, really, is the Coliseum. Okay, let me go to Popo first. And I'll buy some food for the kid. And then maybe I'll check out... What stores are around here? I could try Ibisu Pond to see if I can get a wooden katana there. Just some guy out on the street practicing golf putting. Too bad there was like no golf in Yakuza Kiwami, as far as I know. All right, who's calling me? Oh, it's Rena again. Um, she'll actually have to wait. Hmm. 
see, unlike Rena right now, I actually am taking around somebody that's same sex. Pretty much have to take him to the Coliseum, but you know. Oh, this guy actually is a bit sturdy. Sturdier than I thought. Okay, let's see if this place got food to go. It probably does. I don't know what he likes. So I better at least get him the good stuff. And let me see if I can get that katana. Who knows, I might end up taking other quests on the way. I might as well just go to this one. It's just right there. This one might get resolved in just a couple minutes. Not likely, but... You never know. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Move it! Out of my goddamn way! Oh! You think you got me cornered now, huh? Many. What? Well... I'm not going down without a fight. Huh? You seem confused. You're gonna forget you ever saw me. Well, that was weird. Alright, now why are you running? Damn, you're no ordinary heavy. Where the hell are you? You just picked a fight with me for no reason at all. Because I still have no idea what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you Kiryu? Of the Dojima family? Um... Have we met? Mm -hmm. Huh? Have we met before? <sighs> you're more infamous than you think. But if that's the case, you're not with the guys trying to hunt me down. You're on the run? Yeah. The family I just left is on my trail. I took one look at you and figured you must have been with them. Oh, well, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Here, this is for the trouble I've caused. Keep it. Oh, the J5 key? I better move. The longer you're involved with me, the more trouble you're in. Where will you go? Even the Yakuza is no joke. <laughs> right? Every day I stay alive is a blessing. Anyway, good luck, Dragon of Dojima. You're a goddamn legend. That didn't end the quest right away, though. So that leads me to believe I might have to go and keep moving forward. Or maybe I have to cash in that key, is what I mean to say. Let me see what happens then. First... What do you got? It does have a wooden katana! I think I only needed one. Plus my actual armor, I got too much stuff equipped. Or too much stuff brought with me. Whoa. What else was I gonna do? I don't remember. Oh yeah! Oh wait, this is just for more Mesu King. Asia's where I gotta go to see Yuya's girlfriend. I think I'm just gonna have to go to... Go to here. Just use that key. I'm trying to think of it, don't I have those other keys I need to give up? Or maybe... I should head over here and uh, take care of my equipment issue. 
or my gear issue. Where are these arrays that destruct the power of objects you throw? I don't think I'm going to keep that. I got too many sacrifice stones on me, so that can go. Is that the only armor? No, I got more armor than that. Nope, that's it. Okay, I did need to free up some space. So it's good that I did it. Sorry. Hey! Hold up! Mm -hmm. That locker key you have. We know who gave you that. You bumped into our little friend, right? Men. Who? Mm. Oh yeah, I did. That was the guy who said his Yakuza family was chasing him down for trying to leave. The item in that locker belongs to our family. So just hand over the key and get out of here. Sorry, but you're in no position to be making claims on my property. Your property? You must be dumber than you look. And when we're done, you're going to look even dumber. This is how it's going to go, huh? I expect these guys to put up a fight because you don't really get this quest till what? Around this point in the game. A <laughs> business motorcycle. What about the party motorcycle? Ugh. <laughs> I feel like I got hit by a truck. I don't know what your problem is, but this locker key was a gift. So get out of my face. You don't know what you're unleashing, man. When you're carrying around what you find in there, you better watch your back. What the hell could be so important to them in there? Charismatic photo? Is this just a photo of their patriarch? If I try to use this, it's gonna make me look like an idiot. Huh. Doesn't seem like it was worth fighting a bunch of Yakuza over, was it? Maybe to them it was? It was worth the 30,000 experience. B5 had the medieval painting. For some reason. And I 4 had a marble spear. Okay, it's just something you would sell. Make a lot of money from selling it. Well, I guess I'll put the medieval painting away. Yeah, there's only one more key left to find, and I got them all. Oh, uh, I guess I can... Wait, there's this over here. But that wasn't always there, was it? Let me head over this way next. Here we go. Yo, Yuya. もちろん、ご招待です。ああ、sure、why
You know what all the regulars here desperately want to get their hands on? I'll clue you in. A legendary free pass. But you can't get it unless one of the dancers really takes a liking to you. That's okay, I'm very likable. Psst. Hey buddy. A showgirl named Mio-chan's on stage. Got some juicy insider information about her. I'll sell it to you for a thousand yen. What is it? Fine. I'll pay. Interested, are you? Knew it! Mia-chan actually got a boyfriend recently. Seems they met at a host club. But this new boy of hers? To put it bluntly, they say he sucks in the sack. I bet she's totally unsatisfied right now. See? Pretty vital info, right? You will live wisely, friend. Use boyfriend? Does that mean Yuya? That's... Definitely not information I can use. I should be going to watch Yuya's girlfriend dance now. Oh! I keep forgetting that's just the way to get out. Okay. ユース。今踊ってた彼女、ミユって言うんです。今度機会があったらゆっくり紹介しますよ。あれでなかなか人気なんですよ。ほう、そうなのか。俺も最初はただのファンだったんですけどね。まあ、色々あって。あ、もう
俺に何かあったらあとお願いします待て俺が行くまで動くなダメです持ち時間が俺行きますおい言うや He's gonna get himself killed. I'll have to stop him. Kono Mamado to Yuya to Chigabne. Koen my door in the Gokai Shoi Soganeto. Yep, I'll, I'll just say that right in front of the cop. Okay. I think I'll go do this one first before I go all the way down there. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm, I'm kind of busy. Look at these guys just keep running in place. What the hell was that all about? Oh, he just pulled out a knife. Oh, damn it, he got me again! They're, they're getting smarter just weaving around me now. I don't like that. I liked it better when they were just dumb and taking my hits. It's not that far from here. Wait, did I eat all the food in Kanrai? I know it seems kind of ta tasteless that I'm going to a restaurant, you know, before I feed a kid who's starving. Oh, I ate everything here. Well, I could just use more health. So let's get the stone cooked bibimbap. I almost call it the stone cold bibimbap. <laughs> You know, they, they make everything sizzle with Steve Weisers. Which I guess is just Broken Skull IPA, and I don't even like IPAs. Because look, there's no coincidence that P, that the P in IPA probably stands for piss. I'm just satisfied with lagers, thank you very much. And maybe cider. So hungry. Here you go. I should I hand him over? The only thing that's food. If you're hungry, you can have this. Wow! Really? Thanks, mister. I was super hungry. Thank you so much, mister. Yeah. It's nothing. Make sure you chew before you swallow, though, huh? Okay. It tastes so good. This must be the gold parlor here. You and his girlfriend Miyu should both be in there. Anything could happen. Should I go inside? Yeah. Alright. Going in. そうかったじゃねえか。キリュウ。キリュウさん、こいつら。甘っちょれ
All right, I'm mad now. I think I got the guy with the sword taken down. That's not how you play Go. せよってくさ。10年前にそう決めた。キリュウさん。巻き込んじまって悪かったね、ゆうや。もう俺に近づかない方がいい。なんて言っていいかわかんないっすけど。キリュウさん、何でもかんでも背負い込んじまって。俺にはまでできないですよ。キリュウさん、あの何かお礼したいんですけど、今こんなものしか。バカ、お前そんなもん渡してどうすんだよ。A free pass for Asia? Yo, I can just get in there for free now. I risk my life, but at least I get to go to a bikini bar with no cost at all. Alright, I'm glad he's still doing alright. Oh, I know what I should be doing. Now that I got that katana, I should go see Kamaki again. He can teach me a new technique. Don't I also have to go to that Coliseum? With uh, Shinohara, I think that was his name. Oh, oh my prized pupil. Are you here for your next session? You brought the wooden katana, did you not? Uh, yeah, I've got it right here. Ah, uh, oh, was it much trouble to procure it? If you are ready, let us begin. Alright, Kiryu. This time I should teach you the basics of the basics. The art of Kamaki swordsmanship. Wait up. I thought the Kamaki style was an unarmed martial arts school. Why would I need a wooden sword in a fist fight? Sayo. Aye, unarmed combat is indeed a vital aspect of our style. But let me ask you, why do you think practitioners of our school fight with our bare hands? Hmm. It's important to win without relying on weapons, and because you want your fist to be your strongest weapon? <laughs> oh, such a modern sentiment. Even the strongest man would perish before a gun. Can you truly be the strongest by mastering your fists alone? By that logic, all martial arts would have no meaning. That is true as well. From ancient times, man has used tools to fight. Weaponless combat is not the way of civilization. But old Western armies trained in hand-to-hand -to -hand combat too. In a world where iron weapons were developed. Why? To continue to fight. Even if their swords shattered or their quiver was emptied of arrows. A man's fists are not his strongest weapons. But they are the last weapons he has. I guess that makes sense. The founder of the Kamaki style followed suit with other styles and started with sword fighting techniques. That sword play still exists and is taught to this day. So in order to master the Kamaki style, you first need to learn the basics of swordsmanship. Only from there can you be taught to train the body, your final weapon. I see your point. Let's go. I will teach you the Kamaki style basics. Draw your sword. Okay.
Now, Kiryu, I have taught you the form. Try attacking me with the Kamaki Slash Attack. This is a form of swordsmanship in the Kamaki style. Your attack will have more power when using a katana. Kamaki swordsmanship is a bladed combat style passed down from the Edo period. The form's improved stance increases the damage dealt by steel blades and wooden swords alike. Attack Kamaki 20 times with a wooden sword using square or triangle. Oh, I can use circle too. I like how the uh, heat combo also counts as just adding extra hits. I did it. And he didn't fight back. Prodigious! Make sure to remember the Kamaki style basics. Uh. Yeah, got it. We'll progress to more intensive training. But first, bring me proof of your progress to receive your next lesson. There's a prize from the arena called the Image of an Asura. Mm. The Image of an Asura? Oh, so what? Is my next training session going to be punching a picture of a Hindu spirit? Yeah. No, it's not really that. But I just need the picture. Mm. I don't understand. Well, Kamaki School has a partnership with the Coliseum. I offered my treasure pictures as prizes, on the condition that those who brought them to me could become my students. <sighs> but no one brought any? Soldier. Just so. I've been watching the registration area, but no one ex ex expressed any interest in becoming my student. And there were such valuable paintings, too. If you want them back, just take them off the prize list. Uh, I could never take back something offered. Such shameful dealings are far beneath me. I have my pride too, you know. Mm. So you want me to go collect your old pictures by winning? I still think it's embarrassing. Mm. You know nothing. Winning back those pictures in the arena serves as proof that you trained by fighting those warriors. Why can't you understand this is for your own good? And if you, as my student, make a name in the Coliseum, the contestants who lose to you may seek training from me. This is crucial for the future of the Kamaki School. <sighs> Sounds like it's only for your benefit. Nevertheless, this is all part of your training. You must bring me the image of an Asura to prove your true metal. Now get out there and continue your training. Okay. Can I just take a screenshot of Final Fantasy IV? Because there was an Asura boss. The conditions, blah blah blah, yeah, you already told me this. Well, I guess I should upgrade my uh, body abilities a bit more. I can boost health again. But I'm not going to be able to do any more training until I actually go to the Coliseum and win. But I have to go to the Coliseum anyway for something else. This is where I would need to go, and this is where I can go. Alright, let's see. Oh. oh, that's just the lighting from the area. Where are we? An underground arena. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here. Day in and day out. It's a different kind of combative sport. A combative sporting event, you say? Uh. The type of strength you never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You amaze me to no end, Kiryu-san. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I ever made. Then, Huh? <laughs> this is the kind of experience I've been looking for! I think this would be the kind of excitement I was craving. <laughs> huh. Sounds like you're willing to give it a go. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna go enter right now! <laughs> right. Amazing. 
You won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena are barely a warm-up for you, huh? Yeah. No. Everyone was really strong. I wouldn't say I won any of those matches with ease. Mm -hmm. Really? Then why do you still look so dissatisfied? How observant of you, Kiri-san. You're right. I'm not satisfied yet. <sighs> not even the fighters here can give me the experience and excitement I seek. Mm. I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. Ooh. And that man is... <laughs> you, Kiryu-san! Manny. What? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk. You moved like a dragon. It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. <laughs> huh. So you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Hey. Yes. Would you do me the honor? Uh. Of course. I accept your challenge. Now let me get this first. Hope you don't mind. The Giraffe's Dag Beetle card. I guess I just talk to him and get started? Wait, what can I get with the points? I need 200 points for image of an Asura. I could probably go out on my way to maybe get the other images too. I wouldn't be surprised if he wants those next. Hope he doesn't want that golden dragon statue. That's gonna require a lot of points. Kiryu-san, are you ready? Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Thank you! Let's fight fair and square with nothing to hold us back! Shinichi Shinohara. Oh, he, he's he's dressed for the occasion. Oh God! Oh, he's even got a judo throw. Of course he does. That's okay. I have an STO. At least he's kind of slow with his strikes. So I have that working for me. Sadly, I'm not doing a lot of damage to him. No, don't. Drop it! Ow! Ah, he starts hulking up those grabs mid-combo, and that's why I can't get away from him. At least the throw itself does not do a ton of damage to me. There we go. Right trigger for taunting. I should do that more often. Music air is pretty good. Oh, oh no! Damn, okay, that was pretty impressive. Just picked me up like I was nothing. No slouch, I'll tell you that. Oh, I thought I was just away from that range. I was not. Oh, 
Ah, son of a bitch. I set myself up for that one. That those grunts he makes. He's a grunter for sure. I'm surprised he doesn't immediately counter my throws. Because usually a style would actually call for that, wouldn't it? Not that I've ever done judo. Alright, this should beat him. I win. Curious son, you were exactly the man I knew you'd be. I gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. Yeah. No, your moves were more intense than ever than I ever could have imagined. I'm surprised I won, honestly. <laughs> I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for you, Curious son. I'm glad I came to Camarocho. Good. Does that mean you're leaving? Yeah. No. I'm going to stay here and keep improving my skills. So if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. <laughs> huh. Is that so? Then I'll have to keep improving too. <laughs> I haven't felt so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again, Kiryu-san. Shinichi Shinohara will now appear in the underground arena. Interesting. I guess I should just go and uh, get some uh, extra health. Okay, I think that's good enough. Welcome to the Coliseum. What can I help you with? Um, let me enter the tournament. Oh, I can't participate in a lot of these because my rank is really low. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. A tournament for rookies fresh to the Coliseum. This is a gateway to prove you are a warrior worthy of competing in the revered ring. Is this like the same opponents that I'm going to have? When I did this in chapter 5. Hey, Kiryu is 37? I didn't know that. Let's go. Oh, you're time for this, too. Oh, perform a counterattack. I'm not here to please the crowd, I'm just here to win. Wow, he, he just kept taking those hits? Hurricane Nozaki. Oh, he's a Lucha Libre opponent, huh? Thought he would wear a mask. <laughs> I just grabbed his cap and somehow it broke bone. Ow. What the hell are you doing? 
Yeah, because it's called a hurricane, of course. Well, that's one way to take down the enemy. Akira Kondo. Let's, let's go. That was an eight second massacre. Good job. How many points did that get me? 208. And I got experience for that too. And 50,000 yen. Hold on, did I only need 200 points for the Asura? Yeah, I only needed 200 points. Wait, what's the way out? Over there? Okay, it was that way. I'll continue the story again soon enough. But for now, I got another technique to learn. I think I'll do that and then I'll call it an episode. There, I have your painting. Cool. Ah, my dearest disciple. Have you come for more training? And do you have the image of an Asura for me? Uh. Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. Oh, you have the image of an Asura, eh? Let's begin. Hear you. I'm about to give you a trial. Okay, what kind of trial? I have gathered some of the residents here. You must defeat them within the time limit I impose upon you. Whoa, you sure? Even if I hold back, they're gonna get hurt. Worry not. These men are all confident in their abilities as bodyguards, couriers, and the like. You can feel free to give them a few good wallops. I don't think that's the problem. Oh well. If you're gonna defeat them in the allotted time, your training for now will be complete. Now, begin! Alright, what is the time limit anyway? Defeat all the residents of Purgatory within the time limit. Okay. Well, the good news is they don't have a lot of health. I think you have to stay in Dragon Style, though. Uzaki? I thought it said Ukazi. Oh, what is this? Yu-Gi-Oh? It's gonna do 800 HP worth of damage every hit? two guys left. That wasn't even a new attack, though. Prodigious! I shall teach you the Kamaki Roundhouse attack. Okay, a move for attacking freely and easily while surrounded. It can be formed when you aren't pressing R1. Hmm. What kind of a move is this, old man? Oh-ho! This move is designed to defeat multiple enemies while surrounded. Precisely the situation you were in just now. Mm -hmm. Since the opportunity presents itself, do you wish to try the Kamaki Roundhouse attack in the same situation? Uh, sure. Uh. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Very well. And give it your best attempt. Alright, so don't press R1. Okay, 
Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, it's probably in Dragon Dojima, duh. Where does I see... Okay, here we go. Okay. Square or triangle while holding the left stick when not in R1 stance. It says I can do it in a brawler stance, too. Hmm. How do I do it, though? Do I need maximum heat for it? How do you do it, though? I'm trying to do it. It doesn't work. I gotta look at this again. It's one of the last ones you get. An attack that hits from all sides. So it's just my elbow? That elbow attack was it? I think that's all it was. It's not like it gave me a counter say, like, just do it this many times. Mm -hmm. Were you able to experience the effects of the techniques? To learn a skill is simple, but mastering it takes practice. Only by applying a move in actual combat can you refine it. Next, the image of a cat is required. There's a prize at the Coliseum, so bring it to me post haste. Okay. Uh. That means I gotta compete in the Coliseum a bit more. Oh well. I guess we'll just stop it here. And then the next part, maybe I will go back to the Coliseum or do some other quests outside of Purgatory. See everyone, thanks for watching.